Well, good afternoon. Welcome to another exciting episode in uh, Bill's Little Big Adventure Channel. Got me grandson here, Jack, and we're going on a, a wild camp with a little bit of a difference. Now, we're not going up any mountains or hills in my case. We're actually going into a woods and we're going wild camping, but it's going to be legal wild camping because this woods is owned by somebody. Uh, they have a um, a, a, a Facebook page where you can uh, ask to join and then you can come and uh, wild camp yourself. I'll put a link on what it's called at the bottom in the description. But I've just done a bit of a recce now to see where it is. I'm not exactly sure where it is, but um, I need to find a white gate and then I think it's through there. So, no backpack on yet. It's not far, apparently, from the car park. It's only about 10 minutes' walk uh, till you get to the uh, site itself or inside the actual site itself now i've got another friend coming you'll probably see him on other videos like called bernard he's coming with us as well but he's going to meet us here so whether he comes on the motorbike or he comes on his van i just don't know yet but uh, we're going to find this uh, white gate and have a look uh, if we're in the right place which i think we are and uh, get into this site so we'll be back with you in a minute well, there's the white gate, and there's the sign saying private woods. This is where we're going down there. Uh, the gates are locked. The Facebook page is called uh, uh, Forest of Boland Wild Camp, and you can ask to join that page. It costs you a five to come on here if you're an adult. If you're a child, then you get it for free. Uh, it's got nothing on site, really, it's pr pretty wild. It's apparently, it's got a composite toilet. Uh, we'll have a look at it anyway afterwards. But you can have fires on here as well. As long as you leave no trace, that's the main thing. And that's, you've got to do that. It's as simple as that. You know, you've got to respect what they do. Uh, they have a list of uh, rules and some regulations. Not much, but it's just common sense more than anything else. So, <laughs> we're going to get our stuff, walk across the bridge again. And uh, go and climb over this um, this white gate and walk into the uh, whoop, into the forest itself. Now we're right in the midst of a pandemic here, coronavirus. Now people are uh, the government to say you know keep yourselves uh, away from other people, keep a safe distance, lock yourselves down if you can if you have any symptoms at all. But on another page like a lot of the campsites are still open and ordnance survey say uh, just get yourselves out as well get some fresh air but keep your distance which is understandable hence we're here now the situation may get worse over the weekend we don't know so at the moment we're not on lockdown that's the main thing so at least um we can get out and we can do a bit of walking or do a bit of camping <laughs> Found this uh, wild camping spot by chance, to be honest with you. Um, I went on YouTube and typed in wild camping basically just to look for somewhere different we could go and hopefully close by to where I live. <coughs> we're about where I live, Wigan, we're about 60 to 80 miles from basically um, the Lake District, Snowdonia. Peak District, so we're very close to all them. So I've got a good choice really, when it when it comes to camping, as long as the weather's okay. Depending if you go to Snowdon and places like that. Anyway, this came up here saying a uh, legal wild camping in Borland. I went, oh, hey, that sounds interesting. Anyway, I went on it, had a look at the video, and I contacted the lad who put it up. His uh, channel's called R6 Phil 
outdoor enthusiast and ask Phil a few questions. Give me some, give me the answers straight away, which is fantastic. Thanks, Phil. You're a gent. Hence, where are you this weekend? Uh, as I said before, oh, it's all right. At least like it's two more behind us. Well, coming camping. We may just take the nail on the head here. Uh, hopefully get a good, decent spot. Now, Phil told me about this. It's muddy for the first bit to get to where you camp and then it goes solid then. So fingers crossed, everything's all right when we get to our camp pitch. Right, well, it looks as though we're gonna pick this spot here to camp. There's enough for three tents easily, easily. We've got a little camp thing down there here. Yeah? Uh, including some uh, logs to sit on as well, so we can use that as a campfire. Uh, on the motorway, it was windy coming here, but uh, it's cooled down a heck of a lot. There's no wind at all. But uh, I've just checked the trees to make sure there's nothing that's going to fall on us. I'll just show you. Right, that's the tents put up. Well, Marlon Jack's anyway. Bernard isn't here yet. I think he's got lost. I've just sent back um, Jack back to uh, the car park, which is about five, ten minutes walk away. It's not far. See where he's got to. There's no signal here at all, so never mind. Uh, I think I'll put the kettle on. So while the kettle's boiling, um, I'll show you a quick um, uh, walk round the little campsite and. Um, What's a water bag, Autolib, you've seen that a few times, we've had to run a tree, little knots there, stop it slipping down. This bag's for rubbish, and this here is um, towels for uh, drying your hands. This is full of uh, hand wash, uh, and it's uh, antibacterial hand wash, just to make sure our hands are nice and clean. And just to top it off, got some uh, hygienic gel. We've got a campfire here, this is, um, they're quite... Um, Happy to have a campfire here, so um, we're going to have a little campfire here. I've got some, I brought some wood because uh, I spoke to Phil, or I should say I um, contacted Phil on his uh, YouTube channel. He said it might be wet wood, so just in case, there's quite a bit of uh, fallen wood here. We just have to search through and have a look at what's best to use. Oh, yeah. Did you get lost? Yeah. Right, I've just been speaking to a lad called John. Um, two other lads came before on the site and they've walked off down there. Uh, John's gone wandering the uh, further down in the forest himself, so no doubt we'll catch him up later on and hopefully I'll have a little chat to him again. He may be on, I might put him on camera, I don't know, it depends if he wants to. Anyway, why were you um, in a bit of a forest? I'm going to show you a few things what I brought. Uh, Holter Falls little tiny axe, I think I forgot what axe it's called this, but I have a um, a wood fire at home, so I use that for usually making kindling and stuff like that, so no doubt, maybe use that, I don't know. By the way, I'm not a um, uh, bush crafter, so if I use it and I use it right, then that's just me, I've got it right, but if not, then it's the way it is. Fold out a little saw, make some timber, I'll cut some timber, I should say. A little cheap na uh, um, knife, what's that? Alter for it's nice and cheap that really, it's got a little striker with it, a little ferro rod. And uh, my kindling box, which has got a um, little wire in it for cutting through bits of timber if I know how to use it. I don't really use it, I just bought it because it looked interesting. Uh, I've got some pads here for um, oops, soaking in some... Um, uh, so, oop, some let me just show you. Oh. There we are, a bit of vase. We're sorted tonight, boy. Bernard, we're sorted tonight, got some vase. Oh, Alright, lad. Okay, yeah, better than last time. Eh? Than the last time. Uh, and that's just to rub that in there, really. Another uh, ferro rod. Waterproof matches. These are brilliant, these are. They're for about 40 or 50, they're about two quid from BM. They don't half lay quick. Uh, and then I've got some of this stuff here. I can't think what it's called, but that really lights. That lights really good as well. So 
if I'm struggling then I can use that and if all else fails the good old lighter so I've also got this fold away um, saw what's all what do they call these things <laughs> I wasn't keen on coming camping this weekend no. really you know? that's to protect us from him then you know, that mask but... What can I say? I thought well, I've got them all steaming up here. Hang on, I can't see a bloody thing. So excuse me. Excuse me. Would you would you mind keeping your distance from me? I get you put some germs on my neck. I'm not. I've got a triple layer on here, man. Well, that'll do. Then that's I've got all right. Bubbles and everything. Look, I'm going to bring a cash helmet. So there you go. Okay, I'll go now. Can't see a thing. Good lad. Yeah, okay. Well, why were you? Um, I brought a bit of water, but Bernard's going to get some water from the river. River's only a hundred foot away for that. So um, we're going to drink some filtered water out it later as well. Right, so we've set ourselves up. Bernard's turned up. Um, we're just settling down a little bit. Now, I've decided that uh, me and Jack will go for a wander through the uh, rest of this forest because we've not been here before. So I want to have a look at uh, what uh, there is or what, uh, if I come again, what I can expect and maybe a different place to camp. Well, the landowner's put a composite toilet in there, so at least you can go to the toilet without affecting anything else around this area. A bit of a scramble. The uh, I think it's the back end of these uh, this woods forest. Uh, it goes quite flat, and uh, we can see either one or all of these lads camping up here. Right, ladies and gents, here's a couple of lads we met before. Um, your name is sorry, Gareth, Gary, and your name is Aaron. So these two lads are camping a bit further up from us. Oh, a nice setup there. Looks excellent. I am jealous, actually. <laughs> we found John. A bit difficult, he's well hidden. <laughs> what, a spot, what a cracking spot, man. Yeah, I can see it. Excellent. Have a look under her. Oh, he's done a really good job there, lad. Excellent. Ah, cheer like ours. Now I've had a quick wander through these, uh, this forest. I spoke to the other three lads who were who were hammocking, camping out um, in the same woods as us. Uh, we'll go back to our little campsite and uh, get some food on, I think, and start a fire. They've been us to it, Bernard. Bit of irony there, isn't there? I think the only reason I've used the gas is because uh, I want to get the water warmer so we can have something to eat. Otherwise, I think put the pan on that uh, on that fire. Maybe I'll have raw keys anyway. Anybody got a chainsaw? <laughs> You know, it's really funny, uh, you know, swine flu? Yeah. It was affecting youngsters more. It's a gadget you haven't got. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, open yours. God. Ah, shit, I number it. Should we go? Yeah, mate, I think we might. Well.
if you shot or something and you come here then there's a, a pan and a little griddle you can no doubt use if you want to oh. Dal. Vegetarian Dal. Vegetarian. When have you become a vegetarian? Um, I've never been a vegetarian. Ah. But you know, when the shelves are empty, man, you won't <laughs> eat anything. <laughs> the of the angle bit is on the back side yeah. to go for the flu. Ah, right. He has a, um, uh, I have one of them with, with a flu on it, but I've not got a tent to fit it in, so I just yeah. take it somewhere in the camper van, leave it outside when we get warm. Yeah. For my house, so it was easy for that as well. No, no, I'm not. Get it. Where is she? She. Uh... Well, good morning. A really good night last night, as you no doubt you'd well, seen, with a little fire going. And uh, Roger joining us as well, late on in the people. evening. Mm -hmm. um, and she has to. Had some beers, had some food, go out and do their shopping had a jolly good time as we always do. And uh, I think it's time for us to pack up and go home. So I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. And hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Uh, I'd like to do a shout out for a young lad who gave me a shout out on his last video, a lad called Sam Wakefield. Um, his channel's called Sam Outdoors and he's just done his very first wild camp in the Peak District. Well done, Sam, mate. It was a fantastic video, and keep it coming, son. <laughs> I'll see you again. Smile. <laughs>